Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to the Lady and the Fox podcast. I'm Taryn. And I'm Ian. Oh, did you like it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you the answer, <laughs> like All right. Welcome everyone to the Lady and the Fox podcast. Welcome to the Lady and the Fox podcast. Welcome to our living room. Welcome. Got We've some space. Changed locations on yes. you today for our episode three. We are in the living room. Yes. We're going to plan to get some fireworks up here. Yeah. We um, usually hear and can sometimes see the Disneyland fireworks. So we thought that we'd record that for you guys tonight. Get some footage and be able to show you guys the Disneyland fireworks tonight. So. That we have to hear every night. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get that done. Yes. Um, hopefully. If not, maybe by next episode. Yes. But. Double fingers and crossed. if um, you guys are just listening, you can hear the fireworks and maybe head over to YouTube if you want to see them. Yes. And see our ravishing good looks as well. Yeah. Our beautiful faces. Yes. So... Um, today, yes, we're going to start with the fair foods. Oh yes, I love me some fair food. So Funnel summer cakes. is coming up, and that starts the whole fair food fair season. Yeah, and so um, there's a couple fair trends that happen. Yeah, which is one of them is the deep fried stuff. So the um, First one I have for you is, would you try the deep-fried Kool-Aid? Oh, God. That sounds hard to do for one, but it must be like a jello form, I'm guessing, because you can't put water and oil to start yeah. a fire. Yeah, so I, I'm assuming it's probably a jello or Little something. Little balls or but something? What looked like on the picture, it almost looked like a donut when they... Oh, really? When it was a bit open. So yeah. I don't know what happens... How they start and how they deep fry it. That's so crazy. Deep fried sugar water. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. But I can only imagine that it's probably like jello. and then Yeah. Deep fried, but oh, I'm not so sure insane. how deep fried stuff works too well. So who knows? And um, the next one is like a deep fried chicken wing. And then mm-hmm. they um, put bacon around it. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Sign me up for that. Yeah. Yes, I'll take down a few of those. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You would eat those? Oh, yeah. I'm not so sure. And I know they have, like, the deep-fried ice cream. So how do they deep-fry? Do they just take a scoop of ice cream and dunk it real quick? Yeah, I've had that. You have? Yeah, they have it at some restaurants. Oh, you're right, they Mm -hmm. do. The deep-fried ice cream, like at the sushi place or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's weird, too, yeah. Some fancy places, too, I think. The deep fried ice cream. Yeah. Oh, have you seen those fucking old navy jeans that are muddy? They what? you buy them muddy. They what? look muddy and they're four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars <laughs> for old navy? Muddy jeans. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. How does old navy have four hundred dollar jeans? Old navy's like yeah. the spot to go. I believe it's old navy. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. This is shocking. You would be shocking me. I'm shocked about the mud. You're shocked about the Old Navy part. $400 at Old Navy. (laughs) Yeah. Because I one time took my parents to Old Navy because they had 99 cent sandals and I wanted to get sandals. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I don't know why I wanted 99 cent sandals, but I really wanted 99 cent sandals at Old Navy. So I was like, oh, let's go. So I take them. We get there and the line is literally the longest line you've ever seen in your life really it for was, sandals no i think it was oh. just like because old navy just has a lot of good deals yeah it's always popping so i don't think it was just the sandals i think they had it was like a summer sale yeah yeah and the line was snaking through the entire old navy and the old navies are huge yeah you know so the line was snaking through the whole entire thing and i was like what like i would so not insane. stand in this line for 99 cent sandals yeah no. I thought we were just going to go in, I was going to get some sandals and come out, you know, yeah. sandals for the beach or yeah, yeah, whatever, but no. So insane. Yeah. Yeah, Mike Rowe, you know, like the dirty jobs guy, yeah. he was like, some people are saying like, or trying to portray that they're doing work as ironic. He was saying work is iconic, which I like that little quote, you know, like, don't make it ironic that your jeans are muddy. Go and do the work. Mm-hmm. I see. 
That's this little different. poem That's to different. go with headline news. I don't particularly <laughs> like that because I'm in the fashion industry and Oh right, yeah. I like things fashionable and I like my ninety nine cent sandals and I like my destroyed denim. Yep, yep, that's a fact. The more holes the better. We're don't back take to take away uh, my destroyed denim because you can go on the job, but can you get that hole in that particular spot that I want? Yeah, in? yeah. It's like we're back to like the Hollister jean days with all the holes and stuff. We're At not least they're not low rise. It's, it's never gone away. Oh, yeah, I do yeah. I do like the high waisted more. Mm-hmm. But I was talking to a girl yesterday and she was talking about how she hates high rise and I was like, Oh no, like I love the high rise jeans now. I just feel like it helps you out and I don't know. I think it looks like just better all around. Not like I feel like in the eighties it kinda looked like flat butt and mm-hmm. just like super high. But they're yeah. making them so cute now that kinda like curves you a little bit. But she was saying that it w- it makes her look shorter. And I was like, oh, I guess I can see her yeah, point yeah. where it, the torso... Well, was she short? No, she wasn't. Yeah. And she had high-waisted jeans on. They had her put high-waisted jeans on, and she looked great in them. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. She didn't know what she was talking about. Well, I guess different body types, different things. So. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. You might look shorter in high-rise jeans and, like, the low-rise jeans. You look... <laughs> Do you, you wear the high-rise? Yeah, 24-7. <laughs> I like the high-rise stuff, but I think it's come a long way. So the next thing, oh, the next thing. Um, the next thing. I was uh, looking at the Dodo, the article that is on Snapchat a lot, and um, there was a guy who had found these puppies. Yeah. And they were so cute. Like They were, I think, like a brown, grayish color. So cute little yeah. puppies. And he posted them on Facebook, like, look at these puppies I found in his backyard, I think, like, in, like, a mattress or something. And someone messaged him. Yeah. Because I think he was planning on taking them to the vet or getting them help and said, don't do that. Put them back. Uh-oh. And what so do? she said, uh, oh, actually, I don't know if it was a girl or a guy who said yeah. this, but in the message it said, put them back. Those aren't puppies. And oh, no. Guess what they were? Baby bears? Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> imagine if they were baby bears. <laughs> that would be insane. That would be insane. No, I feel like, how do baby bears, like, I feel like baby bears are never, like, this small, though. Like They have to start out that small. No, some, like. Oh, they might come out. Yeah. Yeah, like a baby human, mm-hmm. like maybe this big. I don't think they come out like chihuahua sized puppy. Yeah, probably not, huh? I'm not sure. But I have a feeling probably more like a human baby. So these were puppies now. And I was thinking, like, oh no, are they like possums or, or like raccoons or yeah, something? Yeah. Like, is this like <laughs> a gross situation? But no, they were baby foxes. Oh. It's kind of a trend of uh, baby foxes now, right? Really? I think so, yeah. Well, I've seen them on Instagram, but I'm not sure if they're, like, legal in America or there are some that are legal in America. I have no idea, yeah. It's probably, like, the ferret thing where, like, some people have them. Oh, like, kind of, like, if you have them, it's okay, but mm -hmm. you can't get caught selling them or something weird. Weird. That's weird. weird. Really weird. But, yeah, so um, this guy had baby foxes, not puppies. And I think the person on Facebook said that the mom might come back. Yeah. So to keep them there because I guess they trans, the mom might transport them when yeah, it's a yeah. safe time to transport them. So um, he was like, okay, like I didn't know. I'll put the, the puppy, I was about to say puppies. <laughs> I'll put the baby foxes back in. So he put them back and the mom came back yeah. and took one of them. I think because she wanted to make sure it was safe, and then yeah. came back and, and got them all. Did she leave him a thank you note? Yeah, I think she <laughs> did. <laughs> it reminds me of a couple years ago in Virginia. I was with my mom and my sister. We had this rope swing on the river. Yeah. They're in a canoe, like halfway in the river, you know, kind of waving at me like this, stop, stop, stop. And I can't hear them now. I know they're saying stop. And I look over to my left. There's a baby bear. So I have to, like, Hurry up, climb up the tree, and swing out into the river and paddle over. So scary, though. Wow. Yeah. But I couldn't hear them, and they're, like, paddling in circles all frantic. Like, so insane. I don't think I've ever seen a baby bear. Yeah. 
they are huge still. Really? Mm-hmm. It, that thing was probably at least 100 pounds. <gasps> yeah, huge. Oh, was it like the size of like half of you or was it like your height? or? It was half? shorter but stockier. Yeah, like buffer. Mm-hmm. It's like a like black bear, I believe. A black bear? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a bear. Well, I guess maybe the zoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have bears at the zoo, right? Oh, yeah, like the L.A. Zoo. I think they have bear cubs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would like to see that. We haven't gone to the L.A. Zoo. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. We need to go. Yeah, that would be super fun. The San Diego Zoo is super nice, too. Oh, I've never... I don't, Oh, I've probably been, but when I'm, like, yeah, when yeah, I was younger. Yeah, super so, little, yeah. yeah. So um, I'm not sure. Should we go into our rock, paper, dishes? Oh, yeah. We have our rock, paper, dishes. It's time. Rock, rock. Paper. Rock, We can't rock. hear any music, so. Paper. Dishes. Seems about time. Let's okay. get into it, people. Quiet. Rock. Paper dishes, rock paper dishes. Got that one. Rock paper dishes, rock paper dishes. Ooh, I win again. Doing the dishes. Doing the dishes twice today, cause she lost twice today. What? We had to reset one, cause our camera was out of focus. Oh yeah. Lost the whole twenty minutes of good stuff. That's just showbiz for you. Yeah, you guys are getting this B material now. <laughs> no, this is actually the A material because now we've done it. It'd yeah, it's well rehearsed. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so I also saw on the Dodo article that there was this, I think it was a golden retriever, and he got popular on um, social media because he liked to hug strangers. Oh, no. That is the cutest thing oh, I've ever heard. Oh, my was the cutest. He'd, like, come up and, like, put his paws and yeah, his yeah. arms around them and hug them. Isn't that so cute? Too cute. cute. Airbud's giving hugs now? Yeah. <laughs> you used to have a golden retriever. Yeah, right? gold. You Shout out your to gold. golden retriever. Yeah. <laughs> well, my mom had a cat named Silver, so we kind of went off that. And another dog named little, Shadow. Yeah, and a little bunny named Pearl, so. Oh, that's a yeah. cute name for a bunny. Super cute. So did your golden retriever hug strangers, too? No, but the first time we put him in the yard, he ran full speed into the brick wall in the backyard. Was he a puppy? A little puppy. Oh. The cutest little puppy you ever saw. He was super light, like light colored. Mm -hmm. And as he got older, he was super rich in gold. Ooh. Yeah, it was, it was cool how that worked out. And talking about puppies, here's a clip of little Nala Bear. Little Nala Bear. Oh, oh. look how cute. She's too many cute. It's my little niece. Right there. Is it? She's the best little pup that you ever did see. No, you didn't. No, you didn't see her. Oh, also on the fair stuff, um, did I mention the Twix and the Twinkie? No. What do I call it? A, a twink Twixie. A Twixie. <laughs> we coined that term, FYI. <laughs> a Twixie. So they stick a Twix and a Twinkie and then they deep fry it. Oh, I yes. I forgot about that one. That sounds super tasty. Twixie. Mm hmm I don't really like Twinkies that much, though. But I love Twix. Yeah. Deep fried payday sounds kind of good. Ooh, I wonder mm -hmm. if they do that. Would it make the... Because I like um, when peanuts and stuff have like a glaze or something. Oh, you know? Yeah. You know, so it might be kind of Caramelized nice peanuts yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like candied. Candied walnuts mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Way to take something super healthy and just ruin it. <laughs> like apples, but yeah, I yeah. love like caramel apples and stuff. Oh, yes. Like making apple pies and stuff. Yeah, they used to have those at the town center all the time. The town In center? In Long Beach, yeah. Oh. Best uh, caramel apples with the nuts on there and everything. But I don't like the nut nut ones as much because really? the nuts get everywhere i like the ones um that are dunked in chocolate so i guess they're not well actually i think they're dunked in caramel first and then chocolate oh and then really the nuts so it's kind of like a chocolate yeah caramel situation super extravagant yeah oh <laughs> you want to know a funny story yeah my um brother and his fiance just went to disneyland for her birthday 
and um, they brought her brother, and they were trying out all the treats and stuff because apparently it was a busy day at Disneyland, mm-hmm. which was weird because they went on a Tuesday, but I think during April season is kind of still spring break a little bit, so there was a lot of people on a Tuesday, so they did more of the taste testing mm-hmm. and walking around and doing that sort of stuff. So they bought a, a caramel apple, and they kind of shared it, like, oh, I'll take a bite, take a bite, yeah. take a bite. So my brother said he got the caramel apple back, and he was like, something's wrong with this. Like, something looks weird. And he was looking at it and <laughs> looked over at um, my uh, brother's fiance's brother. Oh, his name's Dane. Oh, yeah. Um, looked over at Dane and was like, um, Dane, and looked back up. I was like, did you eat the paper? <laughs> taking a bite <laughs> of, a, of the apple and the paper so the whole paper like it's it's in a paper thing yeah, yeah. took a bite of the apple and the paper and all ate the, the whole it. thing oh god and dane replied um yes i did and i just went with it <laughs> <laughs> so he, extra tasty he knew he had accidentally eaten yeah. a bite of the <laughs> paper and just just went with yes, it. Yes, Chava tried to brush that under the rug there. Yeah, so <laughs> apparently you can eat the paper at Disneyland too. Yeah. <laughs> Biodegradable, I guess. Yeah. And I heard that there's like um like vegetables that you can eat at Disneyland too. Like some they grow stuff. Oh you just pick it? I don't know if you're allowed to or not, yeah, but yeah. I know they have edible things that grow Let's at go Disneyland. find out. Yeah, I know. Just eat a bunch of stuff in the parking lot. Yeah, see what that <laughs> Oh so this um ends our first little part this does end it and we'll come back for our second we part. will be back bye guys welcome back from the break you guys welcome back we here we're here we are out here all the way out here and now we're going to show you our beach time segment beach time beach news it's time for beach news everything where are we going to go tomorrow? We have to listen to our song. Time for Beach, beach news. news. Beach, please. Uh, Probably good now. We're just winging it. We can't hear the music. We add that yeah. later. We wanted to add little songs for you guys. Yep. So there you go. Hey, hey. So tomorrow, I think we're going to go to Seal Beach. Seal Beach. So we're going to do a little movie magic and put up Seal Beach here yes. for you so that you're taken to a different beach this time. The last two times were Huntington Beach. And yes. There should be a photo of Seal Beach. If it's not, too bad. Too bad, <laughs> yes. We didn't promise nothing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, update on our beach stuff. For um, Oh, here in California, it's um, not summer yet, but it feels like summer. Yes. It's I think the last time we went to the beach, it was um, 81 degrees, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. According to Stop Chat, it was yeah, 81 degrees. The most accurate of sources. Yeah. <laughs> so um, one of the cool things to do in Newport, which we did last year, I think, last year, is um, try the Duffy boats. Super fun. Yeah, so the Duffy boats, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like a little... Almost like a jungle cruise boat, like at Disneyland. What is it? It's like a little boat. Yeah, yeah. That has kind of like a little canopy on it. Like a square, like a rectangle boat. It's rectangle? Yeah, kind of, yeah. It's kind of like a platform type of boat. But you can bring up to ten friends. We went, I think, last year or the year before for our friend's birthday. Yeah, Emma's birthday. Right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. we had about 10 people on there, and you can bring your own food. We brought champagne. Yeah. And um, they take you around. We went, I think, at about 6 o'clock. Yeah. So the sun was setting, and they just took us around the harbor in yeah. Newport Beach. Ain't no parking. Oh, yeah, there was no parking. But we actually did find parking because sometimes around May time, I think this is when we went last year, around May, there's um, uh, metered parking, but the meters stop at a certain point, and it's you can park there all day. So oh, we parked right, at right. a meter spot, but um, the time had ended, so you could we actually were able to park. Yeah, there. we were risking it for the biscuit. Found <laughs> out we didn't need to be worried. Well, because the Duffies um, take off at a certain time. 
Yeah, yeah. So if you're not on the boat at a certain time, it's going to take off. And the ba- the boat on the bathroom, horrific. But that doesn't matter because you're on a boat and you get to drink champagne. And the fact that they even have a bathroom, I was excited about. That's the truth. About That's the truth. Because usually when you're drinking champagne and you're on a boat, you're like, the first question you ask as a girl is, where's the bathroom? Because yes. Because if I'm going to be drinking and being on a boat, like, I don't want to have to do no weird let me yeah, get in yeah. the water real quick yeah. situation so they so just hang off the side over here yeah so the fact that they had a bathroom on the boat is nice yes and um it wasn't too expensive i think it was something around 15 to 20 dollars per person so i really enjoyed it and yeah. i would like to go again and so that's one of our little beach updates we wanted to inform you guys on beach but, updates yeah the Duffy boats are a really good experience that we've been on, yeah. and I think you guys should try it out if you want to go to Newport. Um, super easy, too, because we, we were really late, and oh, yeah. we, we parked. Like, they were, like, vroom, like <laughs> reversing. We're like, we oh, hold had on. to be there at 6, and I think it was, like, 5.57 yeah. when we parked, yep. and we ran up to the thing and we were able to buy our tickets and get on that boat yeah. real quick and i was like oh this is actually really fast and really yeah. easy so if you actually allow yourself some time it was really fast really easy yeah yeah super fun really fun experience your own champagne it's not like they're like you have to buy our stuff or yeah, buy our yeah. food. but i know that there are some duffies that um provide a higher quality of experience if you guys want to do that they um, offer food and drink that you can purchase. The hoity-toity. <laughs> yeah, with the package. <laughs> or um, there was a couple that I looked at that stop at certain restaurants around the area. Oh, there you so, go. So if you want to take the boat, it's a really pretty harbor. And I did like how we w- we did it um, when the sun was setting mm-hmm. because the pictures were amazing. It was golden hour. It just looked so beautiful. Yeah, it was perfect. If you've never seen a California sunset, you have to see a California That would be sunset. legit to go, like, stop at each restaurant and get, like, a salad here, an appetizer there. you can do that. Because yeah, it'll, they probably allow you, like, an to hour or something. Yeah. <laughs> but that would I'll be have fun. a taste of it all. And I know that... Uh, in California, there's a whole bunch of smog and whatnot, but it does make for pretty sunsets. Yeah. When I was in Hawaii, um, which is still on the West Coast, yeah, well, we took a boat out to do the whole um, snorkeling thing. Yeah. And on the way back, I never get seasick. But for some reason, I got some water in my ear when we were snorkeling, and I was like, God, we just need to get back to shore. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and I go on roller coasters and everything, and yeah, I never yeah. get seasick. And I was just like, God, I need to get back to shore. There's like something, like, got water in my ears. Something messed up my situation. And um, so we're, like, almost getting back to shore. The sun's going down, and they stop the boat. And I'm like, why they stop the boat? We're so close uh-huh. to shore. Like, what's going on? And all the people on the boat who did the little excursion with me wanted to watch the sun go down. Uh, and me being from California, I was like, um, I see the sun go down on the beach all the time. What's going <laughs> on? And so they all wanted to see the sun set on the water. And I was looking at the sun and it's setting on the water. And it literally looked like just like a small ball of light going down. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this looks like not to hate Pure on shit. Hawaii, but it looked like just a little ball of sun going down and it looked like not so not where your so smog good. at i know <laughs> and so like we always like hate on california for having the smog but it does create for some really spectacular yeah. sunsets how about that iceland huh yeah eh. so i was kind of hating on the hawaii sunset i was like this looks like yeah. Horrible and get me back to shore because you guys can go to California and see a way better sunset. Oh, yeah. It was just like without any smog, just a little sun going down on the water. Please, please tell me why you're always hating. I know. I'm hating <laughs> on Hawaii right now, which. Hating on Hawaii. Only, Hashtag think, hating on Hawaii. I think only um, Californians would ever hate on Hawaii. That's the truth. That because is the they truth. They also had um, some of the brands that we always have, like Roxy Quicksilver, yeah, yeah. for double the price. Oh, yeah. And well, was they like, got to ship it ridiculous. to. Ridiculous. Middle of nowhere. Yeah, so I was like kind of hating on Hawaii, but 
I do think Hawaii is amazing and a huge experience compared to California. Shout out to Hawaii, any listeners out there. Yeah, One of it our was amazing. 20. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Yeah? Yeah, just super I'll have amazing. To go. But I did think that the California sunsets on the water were better. Yeah. That particular day. Gotta have a dash of smog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to... It's just a little dash. To spread out the light yes. and add the pinks and the yellows and, yeah, the, some sprinkle. and all that. Yeah. Or, Looks like those little sand jars, you know, and you layer the sand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little sprinkles on Those there. are my favorite. Oh, you know what? I heard that the, um, you know, the ice cream museum we talked about last episode? Yeah. 100% sold out. At a hundred and something dollars per person. Well, I heard that it went on sale, and um, when I looked, when I heard it was on sale, it was still like from one twelve to a hundred dollars. That is insane. But our friend went, and she said that it was um, twenty nine dollars per person when she. Oh, went. that's reasonable. Yeah, which would be way more reasonable, yeah. but it was all sold out when I checked again. Oh, it's we like were, them Yeezys. Yeah. Price is going up. But I have a feeling it kind of seems like a super high trend right now, and then like. In, like, maybe six months, we could probably go for probably 25 Yeah, months. on the news, they were trying to be like, oh, it's 420, and look at this ice cream museum, like, trying to, like, put the two together. Like, oh, my God. Because I'm not sure how long has the ice cream museum been open? Been open? Is they barely just... opened it here. It came from New York. Yeah. And it's, like, a pop-up shop, basically. They just like, give me your money, oh, give so me your money, and dip. they're not stay for that long. No, that's how oh. you keep the... That's why it's all sold out. That's how you keep the tickets up and the money up. But what I was wondering, because I know we were talking about this last time, the sprinkle pool, is it real sprinkles or are they plastic? Because I feel like it'd be disgusting to yeah. get in real sprinkles. Must be real. But like if Probably they were... way cheaper. I would like it better if they were plastic sprinkles, mm-hmm. I think, because it seems more like plastic. Sanitary? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And they can probably, like, maybe spray it down or wash it People down. always make fun of those balls and, like, Chuck E. Cheese. Like, they don't clean those. It's not all kinds of germs from those little kids. Oof. That seems kind of gross. Dookie. Oh, Dookie so streaks. So, while we're on our beach segment. Yes. Um, we're going to do a little shark update. Shark update. dun 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 No, I'm about to do ESPN like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> ESPN is probably going to email us like, yeah. um, you owe us money for your little podcast. I was saying it is Espanol. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there hasn't been any shark sightings this month, but when I was looking up um, shark sightings, because yeah. we're about to go to the beach and I like to make sure there's no shark sightings, I did see that in February, March area, there was some shark sightings in Huntington. Ooh. So I think it was... Um, it was either the February one or the March one. They they spotted a twelve foot great white shark uh, off the coast oh, of Orange man. County, um, Huntington. No, thank you. Twelve foot great white. So big. And I think uh, two fishermen, two different fishermen, caught great whites on accident. Um, I think like one eight foot and another one like six foot. My God. And they have to let them go because great white sharks. Um, are protected. Yeah. Yep. Which is weird because they can eat us. Yeah, they're savages. Yeah. <laughs> Super weird. But Thanks again, Disney. What do you mean? Well, I was just kidding about them giving people the wrong idea. But yeah, no, I'm sure they're protected for a reason because you need apex predator, right? Um, so, yeah, I'm sure So they're... populations don't get out of control. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's that or what it is, but it is like, I mean... I don't like sharks in my area, but they're a cool mm-hmm. species, species to look at. I love Shark Week and whatnot. I would hate yeah. for them to go out completely, but I'd rather them be nowhere near our little area. I wish we had nets like uh, Sydney, Australia. They have shark nets to keep them out, you know? But then it's like dolphins get stuck in them and all sorts of stuff get... That's the truth, yeah. Yeah, so... We're in their area, and I feel like as long as I stay somewhat close to the ground and mm-hmm. just know that you're in their area, but it is kind of creepy that we just say, oh, yeah, there might be sharks in here today, but I'm going to go in anyway. I'm going to take a dip. Getting a little hot after my jog. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I feel like the average person doesn't really have too much risk. It's more yeah. like um, surfers or yeah. people who are way yeah. out there that, like, you almost need a surfboard to even be out there. For sure, yeah. Treading water out there would be too much. So weird to look like a seal, too, with the wetsuit on. Yeah. You look like a seal. But it's probably the same as, like, getting hit by lightning. I mean, you know, the likelihood yeah. of a shark attack is pretty low. Although, like... Although, if it happens, you're fucked. And I think, like, comparing it to um, a lightning strike, I feel like a lightning strike, okay, like, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna be, like, buzzed. Yeah, yeah. But a shark attack, I'm gonna be, like, traumatized. Like, douche! If, yeah, like, yeah. a shark just bites me, it oh, would be, like, I'm, I'm drowning myself. If my leg gets bit off, I'm done. It would be insane. I'm oh, done. God. That'd be so creepy. Sticking my so head scary. in his mouth. Okay, so we have... We did, um... A little cornhole game on the beach. Oh, yeah. We have our cornhole board, and we did a cornhole game to um, see who does the cornhole cleaning. We did a little cleaning thing, so who yep. cleans the living room today after Cornhole clean. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird now that I... Yes, yeah, super <laughs> weird. <laughs> All right, we'll, 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 we'll do some <laughs> magic and come up with something better than that. Cornhole um Because now it's cleaning. like an enema situation. <laughs> Yeah, now uh, we're back to Grey's Anatomy. But anyway, who cleans up the little podcast living room area today? So we cornhole do a cleanup. Game of cornhole. So here you go. Yes, here it is. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. All offbeat. Because we haven't even made the song. And so that ends our... Second part. Second part. And we'll catch you guys back real quick. You guys grab yourself a drink. You guys chill can back. because it's going to be in JK. one second. Uh, uh, <laughs> we got to stop. <laughs> See you guys in a minute. Welcome back, y'all. We ready. Welcome back to part three. Part three. So we already did our uh, beach segment. Hope you guys like that. Yep. We're coming back for part three. And so the first thing we have is our Snapple facts. What's the Snapple facts? So I heard that the Eiffel Tower changes its height compared to its temperature. Oh, really? Because the steel expands and contracts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how many inches do you think it can change in temperature? Like when the temperature Mm -hmm. is different? Eight. Eight inches? So close. Six. I thought it was six, yeah. And these are Snapple facts, so who knows? Like, uh, I don't know if mm-hmm. it's 100%, but yeah, apparently it, makes sense. it can change up to six inches. Mm-hmm. Eiffel wow. Tower. That's kind of a lot yeah. to be changing in height. Sounds like a Viagra ad. Yeah. <laughs> they should be. Yeah. So that's kind of weird that it the metal expands or... Yeah, yeah. And contracts in the cold. So it's like condensed in the cold and then yeah. extracts when it's warm out. Mm-hmm. I've never been to Paris, but... No, we need to go. Yeah, that would be really Mm -hmm. fun to go. Because I studied French. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oui. Comment ça va? Bien. (laughs) Very good. (laughs) You know something? I know something. Je ne sais pas. I don't remember. (laughs) I I don't know. I studied four quarters of uh, French in college, and I still don't know how to speak it, so... (laughs) No, yeah. I do my best. Can I get a baguette? Uh, Je voudrais une baguette. (laughs) You gotta speak like the French, dude. Yes. Oui. Like the Beauty and the Beast. I almost sound like the Beauty and the Beast uh, guy or whatever. My favorite Beauty and the Beast guy is the... um, the guy that you're not supposed to like, what's his name? Gaston. Yeah, that's my favorite guy. Yeah? <laughs> he was actually really funny at Disneyland now that we're doing our whole Disneyland. Oh, yeah, yeah. Firework thing. He was Shout my out to favorite Disneyland. character. We went to Disneyland this um, past October, and it was the first day of their October mm-hmm. um, thing, so they had the pumpkin up, and I think it was like a Wednesday or something. And it was cool because all the characters were out. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Because it was like the first day of the celebration of the October. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good good thing. So we saw so many characters. Yeah. Like, uh, speaking of that, 
uh, Johnny Depp was just doing Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride. He was live, like, on the side of the boats. I know, no promoting way. the movie, yeah. That'd be so cool. They probably paid him a shipload. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. That's one of my favorite rides. I like the smell yeah. of the water. But I'd be like, is that him or is that just an actor that looks like him? You know? Oh, yeah, I guess. It'd like, be tough. is it a character? Like, did he go, I'm the real Johnny Depp? Or uh-huh. is it like a... No, he'd be Jack Sparrow. He wouldn't be Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. But still. Yeah. Yeah, the characters are super cool. So we got to see so many, and my favorite by far was Gaston because he was just so... He was like... Just so Gaston, like, oh, the ladies love me. Come take photos with just me. Just so Gaston. Yeah. <laughs> it was just so perfect. I liked him the best. That's what they call me when I'm racing. Just so Gaston. No, 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 stupid. No, no. <laughs> That's <is> so stupid. <laughs> so did Johnny Depp go to the Walt Disney here, or did he go to Walt Disney World? Uh, it was here, yeah. Really? Yep. It's weird to think that they made the pirate ride before the movie. Super weird, right? Because now when I go in, I think of the movie. Yeah. But I went as a kid, and I didn't think about the movie, of course. No. Mm-hmm. Or I didn't, like, for some reason, I just felt like it was based off of a pirate movie yeah. or something. Like, yeah. And now they recreated it to be the, the Johnny Depp movies. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, no, I guess they just made a pirate ride. Yeah, just general pirates, like the ships, Gen- cannons. General pirates. General pirate. <laughs> yeah. Paris and Perry. <laughs> so stupid. You're so stupid. No. That's you're why we're out here. You're so stupid. <laughs> so that's kind of weird that they did the whole pirate thing. Yeah. And then made the movie because usually they make the movie and then the ride. That's the truth, yeah. Like the uh, submarine ride is now Nemo or something, isn't it? Or is that uh, I haven't else? been on it, but I think so, yeah. It is. They're whoring out all the all the movies for what? rides now. They're whoring them out? Mm-hmm. That's not whoring out. I like the rides. <laughs> I like to go on stuff. I want them to make more. Like, yeah. I wish there was, like, a Tangled, and I wish there was, like, other rides that... Frozen? Aren't there. Yeah, like a Frozen ride. Yeah. That'd be so cool. That would be L-E-G-I-T. What? I almost said J. Okay. Lady. No. No. You're not Betty. Hey, Betty. Super Lady. Uh, well, no, it's again. Spanish. Stupid. You're going into Spanish now? We are. No. So, I wish there was a Tangled ride. I wish there was a whole bunch of different rides. But there might be some in um, Walt Disney World. I went there as a kid. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been there. I want to go. You've never been there? Not Mm-mm. even as like, a kid? What I really want to do is, like, the world thing. They have, like, a section where you can go to um, different countries. Oh, yeah, like Switzerland and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be yeah, so yeah. cool to see. Like, all I've ever heard was that you can get, like, different drinks at all of them. Yeah. But I'm sure there's more, like, with the foods and stuff. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the um, Paris, the, our favorite thing to go to for downtown Disney is to get the beignets. Oh, yes. Café du Monde. Oh, is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the little jazz kind of uh, French thing. Yep. And I love the baguettes. Or, beignets. No, the beignets. <laughs> I do like baguettes, too, but no, the beignets. And um, they uh, almost like donuts. But yeah. Powdered sugar. Yeah, a little donut balls, kind of. Yeah. Donut puffs. And actually not too expensive. No. I think you get like four for six dollars. Yeah, and a free half pound of powdered sugar to bring home. Well, yeah. It comes in the bag. Except the last time we went to downtown Disney. What were we doing at downtown Disney? Oh, I had to buy makeup at Sephora. And yeah. for some reason, downtown Disney was the closest Sephora for us to go to. Imagine that. <laughs> I know, and I secretly like to go to downtown Disney better than the mall because the malls, I hate going to the mall sometimes. There's just so many people. 100% not a secret. So we went to downtown Disney because I had to go buy makeup at Sephora. And I was like, oh, I'll I'll take you to go get beignets if you go with me. And he was like, okay. So we went to go get beignets after getting the makeup, but we're trying to go home. 
And so I was trying to eat the beignets while we're walking, and the powdered sugar was just flying oh, all over my clothes. We, both of us are wearing black. We look like two coke heads. Yeah, it was like all over yeah. our faces. Just all, all down our, our shirts. Oh, my God. It was so funny. With huge like, smiles on our faces, though. Yeah. I was like, this looks really bad. And for some reason, powdered sugar doesn't, like, brush off Yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah. It kind of, like, sticks to your clothes. You can't, yep. like, brush it off, like... Um, popcorn or something that you brush off it was you like can't stuck. shake it off shake it off now we have to get taylor swift to give us rights to her t swift i got her right here no, let me she just did. text her there was a um company who was making lyrics of her songs and putting it on coffee mugs and yeah. selling them on ebay and she shut them down well yeah that'll happen but it seems like if it's a small company who cares you know how they have those little yeah, yeah. things in the mall and stuff mm-hmm. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure how much money she was making off of these coffee cups. Yeah. Well, you got to protect your brand. Yeah, I mean, if you let one go up, how do you not let all of them mm-hmm. go up? So. That's, that's the whole point to that. But it gets so funny. Like, how do you draw the line between having people help promote you and money greeting? Like, I need money. On yeah, the yeah. But yeah. then again, protecting yourself. Got to protect the brand. Do you, though, or, like, do you, like... Or do you let it fly? Yeah. yeah. No, there's probably a good argument for both, because then they're kind of promoting you at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, huh, I don't know. I know Disney does not let it fly. I think Disney owns everything, and they have their rights yeah. to it. That's Call their, them the big D. Yeah, that's their thing. But other companies, or I feel like artists and stuff, I feel like, why not let some people kind of make some stuff for you? Yeah. As long as you kind of double-check it and, you know... Everybody knows. Slightly approve, yeah. yeah. Not like approve, approve, but like people know it's not you making these mugs. Well, it's like it's rap mixtapes, you know, like they're stealing songs left and right and yeah. everyone's profiting and it's like, yeah. I feel like we might be getting more into a world of we know this, I bought this mug on eBay with Taylor Swift's lyrics. I don't necessarily believe that Taylor Swift has made this mug and approved yeah, yeah. it. You know, I'm mm. assuming that some... Someone and some bootlegger, place. yeah, not a bootlegger, just like someone has made a cute little thing and and wants to mm-hmm. sell it to people, and I want to buy it. <laughs> Taryn's the lawyer in court. Yeah, it's just someone a cute has, little yeah, thing. It's just you a know? cute little mug. And, What's uh, wrong? <laughs> there's nothing wrong. With Come on, that. T. Yeah. So Your name's know. Taylor. My name's Taryn. You know, T and T. So I don't know. Like I don't know where the lines get drawn there, but I feel like we're getting into a more open market yeah situation and copyrights are so hard to get yeah it's so weird that'd be the truth how to get copyrights and how to like claim something as yours when like if i thought of something what's like someone else can think of it at the same time and yeah that's you. the other thing comedians faces all the time they thought there's the like general joke? yeah there's copycatters but there's also like if you see this and you see this, you can jump to the same conclusion, you know, yeah. and have the same skit in mind or whatever. Or, like, if you're having a joke about the airports and someone else has a joke about the airports, yeah. it's like, you stole my stuff, but it's like, no, there's a lot of funny stuff that happens Well, in and everyone's and riding in planes that are comedians and odd stuff. Everyone. Oh, yeah. Because they travel so yeah, much. Cause yeah, because they end up doing the same stuff, mm-hmm. or there's a lot of comedy and the same sort of stuff so yeah it's kind of hard to say like what's did you steal it or did you just happen to come up with the same idea yeah which like carlos mencia legit stole jokes from people and he was beefing with joe rogan over it or joe rogan obviously won and he was correct but i couldn't imagine like like purposefully stealing someone's material you know now that's like a bring it on situation just like a bring it on situation (laughs) yeah that's like you're stealing my cheers man it's like a stomp the yard situation if you ask me yeah it is (laughs) get off my turf like what's going on here it's like the bloods and the crips you know what i'm saying no no you took it too far too far oops can't go bloods and crips shout out to the all them gang members out there but we're uh team green i don't know (laughs) yeah we got a green screen back here, so we're team green. Money long limousine. Do we not have to get the copyright <laughs> to that one? I'm a loose cannon now. God. Better watch out. 
And I have to get all these snippets approved. Yeah. Um, so, I think that's... Um, do we have any other segments, or is that our... We're going to go light on here? the segments this time. Yeah, I think that's our time here, but we wanted to um, also mention that um, our Instagram's up, just to let you know. Yeah, ain't know. nobody sent us no questions. <laughs> ain't nobody like us. Ain't nobody at us. Um, and now we need to talk to the Chinese community. Oh! <laughs> you just did about our, your racist... Love y'all. Love y'all. <sighs> comments about that. It's endearing. Your, uh... Cultural appropriation. Oh, okay. Okay. Actually, never mind. Don't send us any emails. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to get approved by Taylor Swift, the whole Chinese Asian community. Yes. I'm not even sure what accent that was, but we're just going to have to get approval from everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did some racial and stuff. And AACP, everyone. Yes. Yeah, so we'll like, get it figured out. We love all people. We do. Well, I do. I don't know, but You are the one who did the racist comment. Well, yes. Yes. Uh, we especially love our 25 viewers. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. You are uh, our friends. You could probably text us right now. I hope you had a good time today. <laughs> and um, our Instagram is the Lady and the Fox Pod. And yes. our Gmail is the same, the Lady and the Fox Pod at gmail.com. So go ahead and send us all of your uh, hate mail because this one just uh, did a whole bunch of. <laughs> Powerful skits. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank Comedy. you Comedy. <laughs> but thanks, and have a good time. Have a good night. Bye. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the Lady in the Fox podcast. I'm Taryn. And I'm Ian. Did you like it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to give you the answer. Like...